FNBBR Civil Construction Index remained unchanged at a low of 27 points during the fourth quarter of last year, with 90% of respondents indicating that there was insufficient demand for work. Joining me on the desk now to delve into these issues is Case Brighamans, Chief Economist at FNB. Case, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, looks relatively dire when you look at the uh, construction space. Looking at a private sector growth uh, within construction, is this going to buoy us out of the slump that we're in at the moment? Eventually, mm. in terms of the cycle. Uh, but I think the cycle in the private sector will take its time. <coughs> um, you're specifically talking about um, the mining sector and secondly, heavy industry in, in, uh, in manufacturing. And I think both these sectors, uh, I think we have reasons to believe that it will take time for there to be activity recovery. Mm. It's interesting you mentioned the mining sector, a sector that is doing relatively well. I mean, looking at commodity prices, uh, looking quite strong, and we could see more investment down the line. How soon do you expect a recovery in this particular? These are the, the sentiments one hears. But for example, this morning's business day editorial on, on this call indicates just how difficult it will be to pick up steam. Um, a lot of things will take time. There is adequate uh, infrastructure. Uh, there is still the mining rights issues. Um, I, I think it will take time, despite the fact that internationally, of course, it is a very encouraging environment. Mm -hmm. um, and that's mining. Um, I think heavy industry is, is as problematic. Um, the electricity issue um, remains a constraint, uh, especially on the larger projects, both in mining and in heavy industry. And although there will be projects, uh, what you're asking for is, an, is a significant upturn, and that may just take time. Mm. Well, uh, just looking at uh, the profitability in the sector, that also coming under pressure because we haven't really seen government coming in with large projects like we saw uh, prior to the World Cup, and that, of course, gave the sector as a whole a boost. It seems now that uh, there's the tender process is becoming even more competitive, and this is why margins are being squeezed as well. Very much so. Are, these are extreme conditions. Uh, tendering uh, competition is up to 90%. Uh, and so people do try to put in low-priced um, um, uh, contracts, uh, but in the process then they find that their profit margins are being squeezed. Mm -hmm. So yes, the, 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 the sector remains very much under pressure in that respect. And what about the employment uh, side of things? When we see the Ad Corp numbers, it seems that construction is starting to, sh to show some signs of relief. We have seen quite a big slump on the employment side. Uh, clearly, that will turn when we start seeing business turn as well. Um, employment in, in construction is a lagging indicator. Mm -hmm. And in terms of uh, data that specifically is being put out by SEFGEC, uh, the Industry uh, Employers Association, um, you find that their estimates of the industry is, is down by 20% 20, 20 in 2008-2010 uh, from a peak of nearly 200,000 to near 150,000. Um, and that essentially the industry continues to build down at this point in time because of inadequate contract mm -hmm. flows. So uh, there are probably another 10 or 20,000 uh, jobs to go at this point in time if there is no quick change around. The irony, of course, will be that by the time the industry uh, has f fully capitulated to these changed circumstances, has adjusted its uh, labor force numbers down uh, to be realistically in line with, with, uh, with the contract flow, then you may suddenly get a new rush of, of, of contracts given the very dire need that actually exists on the infrastructure side and the available financing. But that just happens to be the way it is. Mm. Case, what about the fact that, I mean, we've got the budget coming up, uh, you know, in the next few weeks or so, we've got the State of the Nation address, and whenever we see a big government official talking about uh, the future prospects for the country and employment and, of course, growth, they keep talking about infrastructure spend, they keep throwing around 846 uh, billion rand. That is yet to come through. Do you think that uh, most companies, most investors out there holding their breath for any news on that in the next budget? You're putting it well. <laughs> um, specifically in the survey, we find that a lot of contractors uh, maintain hope uh, because the, the very reality of both the maintenance and the new expansions that have to take place and the replacement of existing capacities are such on such an enormous scale um, that at some point uh, it has to come through and, and the money is there in many respects. Um, so uh, everyone continues to hope although adjusting to the realities that they face. And the realities they face is a very, very slow 
uh, order flow uh, from the public sector and, and the private sector essentially still at recessionary adjustment levels. Case, it's so fascinating since the beginning of the year we keep talking to investors about uh, the prospects going forward and which are the best stocks to get into. A lot of people citing construction stocks purely because they have been so hard hit and they say that private sector growth is eventually going to come through but according to uh, your report 2012 is the only time we'll really start seeing a big turnaround isn't that so? In other words one, one should have some patience given the realities of what these companies are actually experiencing and we are waiting for an indication of an order flow pickup uh, and although there are some signs it is not yet on the scale that you can really say yes here is the turn. Uh, all right, well, just uh, looking forward in construction, uh, the construction industry as a whole. Uh, internationally, we're starting to see a bit of a slowdown. Emerging markets doing relatively well. What does it spell for 2011 and beyond? We've cited private sector growth going forward. Uh, in South Africa, are you feeling bullish that we could perhaps reach uh, the heydays of 2006, 2007? Are you talking about the general economy or the uh, industry? No, construction. construction uh, uh, it is very early days at this point mm -hmm. in time. I, I would certainly say that from a private sector recovery point of view, there's a normal cycle ahead of us at some point. Um, but the real question, the $64,000 question, is at what point government um, uh, is, is, is gets its acts together in, in allowing these large new projects to go through. Um, in uh, 2004, 2006, we had the World Cup as the ultimate um, um, uh, carrot to, to really motivate people and to get the show on the road. And we had a bunching of very large projects all going together. Uh, and one wonders whether um, in the years ahead we are going to get a similar bunching movement when at some point uh, there is enough pressure in the system a and then everybody at the same time wanting to announce their particular pet project mm -hmm. and you're going to get uh, an, again a, a large research in this particular uh, resurgence in this particular sector. But at this point in time one waits with bated breath.